always know before you start a look, you need to determine your styling products that you're gonna use, your sectioning that you're gonna keep down around your face, how much you wanna pull back, how much you don't wanna pull back. That's gonna create the roadmap to your entire style. Hi guys, nice to see you again. I'm sure I've met a few of you before through hair.com. For those of you that I haven't met before, welcome. I'm Patsy Pinder, a L'Oreal professional artist and stylist here in Philadelphia. Before we dive into styling and styling with accessories, it's really important to understand the tools that you're using and the styling products that you need in order to create stability in the style that you're looking to achieve. It's really important to build the foundation with your hair products before, during, and after. Okay, so my favorite product from L'Oreal Professional, first and foremost, is the Infinium, this guy right here. It comes in level three and four, so your Infinium is gonna be your working spray. I don't really call it a hairspray because I don't think it has that heavy, weighed down hairspray kind of feel. However, it makes my style hold. So Next Day Hair is a dry texturizing spray. Next Day Hair is gonna give you that disheveled, shattered, piecey look into your style. You could use this during your styling, prior to curling. You could use it after as a dry finishing spray. One thing I wanna remind you with this product is it does not give the hair a wet feel, so it is a nice finishing product as well to pair up with the Infinium. All my dry shampoo lovers, here is L'Oreal Professionals Morning After Dust. I love this dry shampoo. It's really great for my dirty hair days. It's really good when my hair is super clean and I want it to feel a little bit dirtier. What the dry shampoo is gonna do is give your hair a little bit of a grit and a foundation for your style to hold on throughout the day. If dry shampoo isn't gritty enough feeling for you and you're looking to build more of a foundation or get a more voluminous look, that's gonna be our Super Dust from L'Oreal Professional. What you wanna do when you use this is just give it a little squeeze and smoke it right into the hair. Just like that. I have these two adorable scrunchies here. So what we're gonna do with these is I'm gonna show you a few looks how to style scrunchies. You could use these with smaller scrunchies, the bigger ones, whatever you have around you could use. Just know that it could alter your result and what you're looking for. So before you begin, I'm gonna style a half up look using the scrunchie. I need those comfort pieces around my face, so I am gonna create that triangle of keeping my comfort pieces out and around my face. And you also have the option to pull all of your hair up on the sides, half of the hair. It all depends on like what your comfort level is of pulling your hair up. For me, in this case, because the scrunchie's bigger, I don't mind pulling all of this hair up and off my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to do that. But if you do have extensions, you can make this style work. You just have to be a little bit more mindful of what you're doing and to hide your extensions. So I'm still using the part in my hair as of now. I'm just smoothing it out here. So I'm tightening up my sides here just a little bit, making this a little bit tighter and having more of a surface here. And then I'm allowing this hair up here to have a little bit more freedom. I think when you're pulling your hair up, half up, half down, if you tighten your sides a little bit, it gives your hair more stability to hold by keeping the tightness there and where you want your looseness up there, it gives that a little bit of flexibility. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my scrunchie in. I'm just gonna do a traditional ponytail with this. You could wrap it in and create a bun. I'm gonna take my hairspray and again, open my hand up, go in with a claw. Loosen that up a little bit. But I just wanna tell you guys, there's different steps along the way to styling your hair that when you're like two steps in and there's still four more to go, it might not look right as you're going. I mean, there are some alarming times where you're like, okay, that is not gonna look good, I need to start over. Trust me, I have to do it to myself too, all the time, it's fine. Start over again. But there are times where like every step is buildable and you're gonna get to your end result over time of adding all of those steps together. So in this case, for me, for my comfort level, I like volume, I like fullness, I'm all about it. So if I left that too flat, I wouldn't have been completely comfortable. That's why me going in and pinching kind of finished up my style for me and created that look. I could take this and like backcomb my hair with my hands a little bit to make that fuller if I wanted to. I could turn this into a bun and take the hair and kind of go around with it. You could do anything with this top. It's really what you're going for that day and I like to be versatile so I might just do multiple things. And then again, I have my hair down around my face. I think leaving this piece down is super accentuating. I think it's super sexy around the face. I think for people like me, again, it makes you feel comfortable when you're uncomfortable pulling your hair up. So try leaving these pieces down because you can see as I pull them back, that's a completely different look. 
So no hair around my face, hair around my face. And then you can just finish it off with a little hairspray. If you want, you could pull these little sideburn pieces down too and kind of let those roll in with the curtain band you're in. What do you think? Cute, right? So before I go into look number two, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the fact that I keep bringing up if you want hair on your face, what part you're determining, how much you're pulling back, how much you're not pulling back. If you do not have curtain bangs or you do not have shaping around the face, still determine your part. Do you want a setter or do you want a side part? If you have shaping around your face, you also need to determine what part you're using and how much hair you want to keep down. Whatever the case may be, just always know before you start a look, you need to determine your styling products that you're going to use, your sectioning that you're going to keep down around your face, how much you want to pull back, how much you don't want to pull back. That's going to create the roadmap to your entire style. Instead of just going in and hoping it works, that's going to help you to kind of balance it out a little bit better. All right, so on to look number two. I am, again, because it's my comfort level, gonna keep my bangs out. If you don't have bangs or shaping, you could always pinch them back. I'm gonna do a complete up look now. What I do before I pull my hair back is I actually take everything and pinch and pull it back behind my ear. And I keep tucking and tucking and tucking until this hair is tight. By making this hair tight, it's building a foundation for this to stay better for you, even if you're going for an effortless look. So I'm taking this and making it really, really tight here around my ears, leaving this a little poofy back in here because I want some body. And then I have my shaping down here around my face. So what I'm gonna do then is kind of take my hands like this and I'm gonna pinch. Now that I have all of this nice and tight here, I'm gonna triple check to make sure everything up here looks smooth. What this looks like now is what it's gonna mimic when you go to put your hair tie in. Go ahead, add the hair tie. I'm gonna go with a simple ponytail. You could turn this into a bun. And then this is really important when you're done. Go ahead and pinch in and separate and give that some fullness. What you could do too is take some next day hair and spray it in and separate this apart even more to give yourself a full of ponytail. I have my comfort pieces still here. You can see my hair is nice and tight with the pony. And I have all of this fullness here with my scrunchie and I can even pull this out a little bit so you can see it from the front. You want these areas tight before you start. I can't stress that enough that it's really important to get this hair to lay flat and to tuck it and have a lot of tension and pull it tight. Your hair is gonna mimic what you do prior to what it actually looks like after. So you have to have the ponytail like ponytail ready before you go to add it because it's not gonna fix it and get better. If anything, it might get a little bit more bumpy and worse if you don't have tension. And you can see here that I have a nice little style. I have a shape, I have body up in here. I could also bring this up a little bit and give myself some body and still keep the tightness of my tension on the sides. All right, you guys, thank you for your time and joining myself, Cassie Pinder, and Hair.com on going over a few opportunities to style with a scrunchie. If you have any questions, feel free to message me at Cassie Pinder, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to Hair.com. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.